What's up, family? Since it's an old lesson, get your pens and pads out. It is time to get a crash course in the child support system. Former NBA player Eddie Curry went on Vlad TV to offer some insight on his relationship with his childhood sweetheart and the woman he chose to procreate with. He talked about his experience with the child support system. Dude said he paid over $1 million in child support. When his child turned 18, the child's mother went to court and told them she hadn't received any money from him. Now, how does that happen? Ding, 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 you guessed it. Eddie didn't document it by going through the system. He didn't go through the state. So it wasn't documented. Oh, he had documents. He said he showed receipts to the court, but the judge said that that was inadmissible, wouldn't allow it in the evidence. And they hit him up for another million dollars. That's cold blooded. And you know, it's a lot of women out there that's like that. And you know, with women making money now, you know, it's some men out there like that too. It is some dudes out there like that. Now I know it's a double standard fam. The deck is stacked against us. But here's the deal. We know this. We know this well before we get a woman pregnant. This is why it's very important to pick your mate wisely. So you can really understand who you're dealing with. Let me tell you a secret, fam. Let me tell you a secret, fellas, about picking a good one. Like picking a woman who's about something. Now, there are no guarantees, even if you pick the best one, that you're going to be together. You're going to stay together. But first and foremost, you do not, under any circumstances, procreate with someone you don't even know. Or, better yet, someone you don't even like. Because you had, you know, a few moments of excitement. Find a woman who has a solid moral compass. Start there. Someone who, who cringes at the thought of embarrassing herself or her family. See, you find these women out here who don't care about embarrassing their family, embarrassing themselves, embarrassing them kids. They're capable of anything including something as low down and dirty as collecting child support from a person for years, from their fathers, from, the, from, their, from their baby's fathers for years, and then going to the court and lying and said they never got anything. That's low down and dirty. Eddie said that he had a verbal agreement with her, which you know don't hold up in court. A verbal agreement with her that, look, I'm paying you $5,000, $6,000. He said, she said, well, you, I know you ain't making 12 million a year, so you know, just give me what you can. So they worked it out. He gave her 5,000, sometimes 6,000 a month, you know? And he did this for years. And then when the kid aged out, she went back and said, you know what? Let me try to get this bag. And she went out there and said, he ain't never gave me nothing. And he said, she went after his pension. But check this out, fam. Getting back to us knowing what we're getting ourselves into, knowing what the potential is. When, when you get into a relationship, there ain't no guarantees that you're gonna stay together. And there ain't no guarantees on how, you know, this woman is going to behave in the aftermath of the relationship. No guarantees, but you can start with that moral compass. You can start with that sense of dignity 
You can start right there. And normally you don't have these type of issues out of those type of women. But I'm gonna tell you something that Eddie said that we can all use. Eddie said, you know what though? I blame myself. This is why you blame yourself. This is why Eddie said he blamed himself because he should have went through the proper channels and that would have protected him. You see, when you make mistakes in life and you blame others, it gives you a pass to not correct said behavior, said bad behavior said mistake. If you put it on yourself, then if you're a person who's by something, you're a person who stands on something, you're a person who don't like making a fool out of yourself and repeating the same mistakes, you'll correct yourself so that you don't make that mistake again. See, that's what I do. No matter what type of situation I have in life, no matter how it ends, no matter what the relationship is, platonic, uh, intimate, business, whatever, family. If somebody do me dirty, yeah, they may have done me dirty. But, and, and yeah, I may be upset for them doing me dirty, but ultimately I put it on me. I put the blame on me. And I say to myself, you know what? I shouldn't have been messing with them in the first place. See, that's how you correct bad behavior. And then also, keep, keep, keep your mind right so you don't go out there and do something stupid. Because like, if you, cause I know people who blame other people for their problems. You know, things go bad. You know, say they were in a good relationship at some point. Everything was cool. And then when things went bad, all they focused on was the bad thing. And they blame this person. They don't take no responsibility for the action, their actions. It's all on that other person. And they just live life like that for years and years and years with that burden. See, if something burdens me, I got to get it off me. I got to do something about it. See, I, I feel like, like, like if you've been wrong, you have a right to complain. But after you complain, do something about it. So that's what I'm, I'm about that action. So I can't, I can't do it like that. So ultimately, fam, like I said, when I get myself caught up in a jam, no matter what it is, no matter who it's with, I put it on me. At the end of the day, I put it on me. I know how to take my bitter with my sweet. I know dudes who have relationships with women. They got children and all they got, maybe she the most riding chick ever. But all they remember is the rotten things they did. But they got three, four kids together. Had to be some good in there somewhere. I take the good out of it. You know what? She was rotten. But damn, that rotten mother gave me three great children. Amen. Amen. I'm going to focus on the times we had. The time we went to the... We went to the concert together, to play together, the time we went on vacation, the time we was making them babies, you know, the, the, the birthdays, you know, the time she, 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 she did this for me, she did that for me, she did this, she did this, she did this, she did that, she did this. I'm going to focus on that, you know. I'm not going to just burden myself with all of the things that didn't go right. I don't see how people live like that. I really don't. But anyway, fam, what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.